Your new smart stove pellet stove is one of the most advanced pieces of technology that England Stove Works has produced. If you've used a pellet stove before, then you will be pleased with the simplicity involved in running this stove. Please be aware of the following information each time you use your stove. Only high quality quarter inch diameter wood pellets should be used in this stove. Using low grade wood pellets with high ash content or wood pellets with a high moisture content can cause the burn pot to fill with ash at a more rapid pace and can cause intervals between periodic maintenance to become significantly shorter. Please read the maintenance section of the owner's manual thoroughly to understand how fuel selection affects stove operation, maintenance, and cleaning. Variation in the flame height is normal. Not all wood pellet fuel is uniform in size, which can affect the way pellets are fed into the burn pot. Although the flame height may increase and decrease during operation, there is no loss of efficiency. Remove the burn pot during the dry run only so that you can see the igniter function. Replace it after the dry run and after the stove is off and has cooled. We will now run through a preliminary dry run before utilizing your stove. Check to see that the hopper is clean and free from foreign materials. Be sure to connect this unit to a working outlet. We recommend using a surge protector to help protect the electronic components from damage. Before your first fire, dry run your unit with no pellet fuel in the hopper for 20 minutes. Pressing the on button with the unit plugged in will initiate the dry run. Once the on button is pressed, you should immediately hear the exhaust blower start and operate continuously. The set temperature will appear in the two windows of the control board. After about three to five minutes, look for the red glow of the igniter in the igniter port of the burn pot to be certain it is operating normally. Hold the hopper lid switch down with your finger and check to see that the auger is turning. Release the hopper lid switch and be certain that the auger stops turning. Do not put your fingers in the hopper or near the rotating auger. After about 20 minutes, the control board should display FS in the two display windows. At this point, the dry run is complete and your pellet heating appliance is ready for normal operation.